Here's 20 questions on capacitors. Number one, what is the equation that links capacitance to PD? Q equals VC, charge equals PD times capacitance. Two, give the definition and two units for capacitance. Capacitance is charge stored per unit PD. The unit is farad, but it's worth remembering that that means coulombs per volt. Three, what two things can you obtain from this graph? The gradient is the capacitance, and the area under the graph is the energy stored. Four, what are the three equations for calculating energy stored by a capacitor? Just like area under the graph, energy is equal to half QV. Substituting Q equals VC in there, we also get half CV squared or half Q squared over C. Five, what does this graph look like for the capacitor when charging? It's exponential decay, but flipped because it's charging and it levels off at six volts because it's gonna end up being the same PD as the power supply attached to it. Six, what do these graphs look like for the resistor when charging? That's the resistor on the left here. Both the current and the PD across the resistor decrease exponentially. Don't forget that that six volts needs to be shared across the resistor and the capacitor. And at the beginning, the resistor has all of the six volts. Seven, what is the equation that describes the discharge of a capacitor? The decay equation. It's E equals minus T over RC. T being time, R being resistance, and C being capacitance. And this gives you the proportion of voltage or current or charge left compared to an initial value. You might see it as V equals V0 times E to the minus T over RC, but I feel people get confused when it's written like that. Just remember that these are just ratios. Eight, how do you obtain the time constant from a discharge graph? You find 37% of an original value. It doesn't matter what value you pick though, and the time taken to do that is the time constant. Nine, how does the time constant relate to the decay equation and the circuit? The time constant is equal to RC, resistance times capacitance. When the time equals RC, we end up with E to the minus RC over RC. So we end up with E to the minus one. That gives us 0.37. That's where 37% comes from. 10, why do you have to be careful with this type of question? How long does it take to lose 75% of its charge? Because we must use 25%, not 75%, because our equations give us the amount left. 11, how can you change the decay equation to find the PD across the resistor after a time T? We just do one takeaway E to the minus T over RC, because like we said, that total voltage needs to be shared. So if it's 37% on the capacitor, 63% for the resistor. 12, how do you calculate the electric field strength between parallel plates in a capacitor? It's equal to V over D. That's PD divided by the separation of the plates. 13, how does a dielectric affect a capacitor? It increases the electric field strength due to the dipoles in the material lining up along the field lines, making the edges charged. And this increases capacitance. That means it's easier to store charge. 14, what is the equation that gives you capacitance of a capacitor from its structure? It's C equals A epsilon R epsilon zero over D. Epsilon zero just being permittivity of free space and epsilon R just being relative permittivity. It's just a factor. For air in a vacuum, it's one. Everything else is greater than one. 15, if you alter a capacitor while still connected to a power supply, what stays constant? V stays constant, the PD. 16, if you alter a capacitor after disconnecting the power supply, what stays constant this time? Charge stays constant and V changes. 17, if you know how capacitance changes, how do you then calculate the new energy stored? If it's still connected, that means V is staying the same, so you use E equals half CV squared, or you can say E is proportional to capacitance. If it's disconnected, we use E equals half Q squared over C, so that means energy is inversely proportional to the capacitance. 18, for the sake of not overcomplicating things, what do we assume when a capacitor is charging? We assume it charges at a constant rate. In other words, current is constant. That allows us to use Q equals IT. 19, how would you find the time taken for a capacitor to discharge from say 10 volts to four volts? 
we take our decay equation and we log both sides, that's natural log. So we have log of 0.4 equals minus t over rc, just rearrange to find t. Finally, 20, why is work required to remove a dielectric from between parallel plates? It's because energy is required to overcome the electrostatic force of attraction between the plates and the edges of the dielectric. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to check out my mind map on this, then click on the card and it'll take you there. Bye for now.